Good morning and welcome back on this day. We've got an Orgapon EX Premium Collection box to open. There are, I got about a backlog of, what, eight of these types of collection boxes that we have to open. There are so many Black Friday deals and Target, Best Buy, GameStop exclusive products. I am running out of days to open these products. And with us being so close to Black Friday, I figured let's go through and get most of these open we'll probably be opening a collection box a day over the next week or so and we're going to be starting with this orgapon ex guy so orgapon i have no idea the value of this promo however excuse me however i do know that the teal mask orgapon from twilight masquerade when it did first come out was a very expensive ten dollar ex card just a regular one so this promo i'm assuming has some decent value to it. We also have, I believe, six booster packs, some other cards, sleeves, and a little showcase stand as well. So, we're just gonna rip right into it. Not worry about the box. I've learned over the years that is by far the easiest and most efficient way to open collection boxes. All right, here we go. Let's get our promos out of here first. and move all of our plastic off to the side. Always so much cardboard and plastic to go through. We've got a teal mask orgapon from Twilight Masquerade as a hollow promo, as well as an org orgs mask from Twilight Masquerade as well. A code card of the collection box. And then a yeah, there's a little nick at the top there, I will say. Or more than just nick. There's some... I suppose you can't see that on camera. There's a couple spots that have maybe an indent in there. Not great, but this is going in my binder collection anyway. We got Black Star Promo 166 Teal Mask Orgapon. We got six booster packs. We will look at those in a minute. We've also got... This stand here for a card. I'm not going to worry about showcasing that, but you can see. Just set it in there like so. Like we've been getting a lot of those types of stands releasing in Pokemon products. And I'm not opposed to it. However, it's not something I really use or need. So it's not really anything I look for. We got a set of sleeves as well. Look like the Twilight Masquerade ones and then we got our six booster packs as we should adjust the camera down to see exactly what we have surging stellar twilight surging stellar paradox we will go newest not newest oldest to newest and start with a paradox rift booster pack we got six packs one twilight masquerade which is what i'm looking for looking forward to Really looking to get that Greninja pull, that SIR Greninja, but man, that's... I've already opened, what, maybe 100, 125 booster packs of Twilight Masquerade. I haven't pulled it yet, and what, maybe I'll open another 100 packs or so over the next two years. Unlikely we'll end up seeing that in person on video, but I'll have to buy that separately. And that's a story from another day. We got a Mosh Hold EX. There's a code card. But here we go. We got the Twilight Masquerade, and fittingly, it has a mask orgapon on the pack art and that code card was beat up thankfully it's just the code card but man hollow looks like we got an ace trainer at the very least maybe we can get a double hit we got a dreepy phoebus giraffe rig vulpix mightyena river room reverses after the floor grass and after i suppose the ace trainer survival brace polywhirl and just a sinister Sinistee for the hollow. Two Stellar Crown and then two Surging Sparks. Here we go. Let's see what these have for us today. We got a Cyclozar here. Pack number three, Root Fossil. I remember pulling Root Fossil back in the day from the original Diamond and Pearl packs. We got a Swalot, Rhyhorn, Briere, and an Iron Boulder will be a hollow. There's a code card. Then we got our Terra Lapras card for Stellar Crown. And I will say, Stellar Crown booster boxes are still only about $100 to $110, depending on where you look online. So, unless they've shot up a lot over the last few days, definitely a booster box that you can open 
or buy for an investment long term without worrying about surging sparks going crazy at $200 a booster box. We got an Applin, Merrill, and a Zera or a Hollow. There's another code card. As, speaking of which, surging sparks and that Pikachu. We got a very loose pack here. Always interesting seeing the differences of packs through different products since it seems like booster boxes and auxiliary products such as these have different print runs of the sets. Not saying there's any real difference, but always interesting to see how loose or different the pack feels. We got an Armor Rogue Gaze Tapu Luli, Bronzong, and a Tapu Coco. So man, we have only gotten one EX card out of five booster packs, which means this last guy definitely has to have something for us. Last pack magic. Here we go. We got a Drasna Trainer card, Esper, Latrell, Excadrill, a Cryano, Paldean Tauros, Bruxish, Dedene Reverse, Second reverse is an illustration rare. Thank you, a Clavopus and a Gorging Fire. There we go. We got our two hits, Moshhold EX and a Clavopus illustration rare from Surging Sparks, number 207, slowly filling in that set. Thank you guys again for watching, and we will see you tomorrow.